hello, in this problem we have to evaluate this limit. So the very first thing you should do when evaluating limits is always take this number and plug it in. So in this case, delta x is approaching 0. So we replace 0, or delta x, with 0, and that's going to give us 0 on the bottom. So that's no good. We're not allowed to have 0 on the bottom. It makes the fraction undefined. So we need another strategy, and that strategy is simply to distribute. So we'll go ahead and write the limit sign again. Then we have the delta x approaching 0. And we can just distribute this 5. So 5 times x is 5x. And then 5 times delta x is simply 5 delta x. And then minus 5x. And it's all being divided by delta x. Oh, look at this. The 5x's cancel. So this is equal to the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 5 times delta x over delta x. And they cancel. So this is equal to the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 5. You might say, well, what do you do now? Well, um, nothing. This is just equal to 5, right? If you plug 0 in for nothing, you just get 5, right? There's nowhere to plug it in. So, so it's just 5. And that would be the final answer. You can also do this intuitively, right? This, this piece here. You could say, what happens to 5 when delta x gets really close to 0? Nothing. It's, it's still 5. Or graphically, just for fun, why not? It's the line y equals 5. And then so delta x is approaching 0. And the y value is always 5 no matter what. So you get 5. So I hope this video has been helpful.